Look at these people. You and I are not different. We're one of them and we do this all the time. We also choose our phones over the people around us, don't we? Ask yourself how many times your friends or family have asked you to shift your attention from your phone to them. Can I finally saw the movie last week? Me too. I saw We Devi Wedding. Me too. Wasn't it amazing? Yeah, dude, it was amazing. How was Rani in the movie? Rani? Awesome. I loved her. Rani? We Devi yeah, Wedding? Yeah, Rani. Karina. Will you stop looking at your phone and talk to me? Sorry. Do you check out the latest episode of Originals? Yeah, they're really good. I have to. How about Narcos? Not interested. And how about Crown? Yeah, I have to check the second season. Can you please pay attention to me? Yes, okay. Hey, how was it, Rikishna? Hmm, it was okay. How was your work? Nothing special. Okay, how did it go? Just the usual. Are you even listening to me, Krishna? Do these phrases sound similar? We've all been there. And if not, this will definitely resonate. Remember the times when your friend is talking to you, but you're too busy watching cat videos on Facebook or maybe simply browsing through your Instagram feed. Now this may come across as normal social behavior, but it's not. And you'd be surprised to know there's a term for this behavior. It's called fubbing, which is a combination of phone and snubbing. In other words, fubbing means you're snubbing a person by looking into your phone and not paying attention to them. It means you're choosing your phone over the person who's sitting next to you. And you must know that fubbing is increasingly becoming a matter of concern. It's not just disrespectful, it in fact leads to some serious consequences. It's ruining personal relationships, making conversations less meaningful, people feel less connected and excluded, it threatens belongingness and self-esteem, and not just that, it makes people even more addicted to their phones. While fobbing is increasingly becoming common among friends and family, it's affecting couples the most. Scientists have found that spouses who fub each other are likely to suffer depression and lower marital satisfaction. Psychologists also say that this behavioural addiction is like gambling, where people want to be with their phone more and more. And when they're asked to stay away from the screen, they start to get withdrawal symptoms. By now you would have realised how bad fubbing can get. And I'm sure some of you would have been wondering how to deal with this, right? Well, we say don't worry because we have some really simple solutions to tackle this. Next time when someone is into the phone when you're talking, stop right there and keep looking at them. Give them a breather to realise that they need to put the phone down. If the person who's fubbing you is a partner or a close friend, you can go a step ahead. Take their phone and keep it aside. And you can play passive-aggressive as well. If you face fubbing next time, you take out your phone too and let the silence engulf the space. The absolute silence is likely to hit your partner. Well, it's ironic that technology is connecting people to the world, but it's disconnecting them from those sitting right next to them. We advise you to show some self-control and respect others' presence.